Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you SpecFlow, a testing framework used to write automated tests for .NET using BDD, so Behavior Driven Development. We are going to be writing automated tests using English-like syntax. The basic keywords are given, when and then. Let's see how it looks like in practice. So the first thing we are going to do is to go to the, the extensions, manage extensions, and we are going to install the specflow Visual Studio extension. So we are going to look online for the specflow, and then I'm going to install the specflow for Visual Studio 2019. Let's wait until the installation is complete. So I have restored the Visual Studio and now I have the extension installed. A library called class library one containing two files. Book.cs is our basic entity of the book containing one property of type string called name and a basic constructor. Then we have the book service which contains a private field containing list of books underscore book list a method which will be used to add a book to the collection and a method used to retrieve the book from the collection lo looking for it based on the book name. So that is the basic um, class library project that we are going to use um, while testing specflow. Let's see what is inside of the second project. So the second project, specflow project 2, is of special type. Let's see how I have created this. Let's right click on the solution, go to add new project, and then I'm going to search for the special specflow type. So specflow project type. I click next, we can choose the project name and location. And then we can choose the framework, which I, I chose uh, .NET Core 3.1, and the test framework, which will be the XUnit. This will be the under, undergoing um, test framework. For spec flow. We can leave the add fluent assertions library and create the, the project. So that is how I have created the basic structure for the specflow project 2. Let's see what is inside. So the specflow project 2 contains two files. It contains book service.feature file, which will be the place where we are writing the English-like script for our test, and it contains book service step definitions, which contains the C-sharp code um, describing what logic will be invoked under which, which circumstances inside of the script. So let's explain quickly uh, the, the contents of those two, two files. So the, the book service that feature file contains our testing script. We start by uh, using the feature and then book. So features are basically the packages of tests. So this package is called book and then we are describing this scenario which is like a test in this framework. So we name this scenario searching for a book Harry Potter. Then we have the three keywords given, when, then. So we use given to describe the, the situation um, where we are invoking the, the test. So given there is a book called Harry Potter. So we are running the test, given there is a book called Harry Potter. Uh, when is used to describe the action that we are undertaking. So when I search for a book called Harry Potter. Then is used to describe the result that we are expecting. So then the name of the book returned should be Harry Potter. So let's get back to the book service step definitions. So as you can see, this is public sealed class. We are using the binding attribute right here, which is used to, to mark this, this file as a step definition for the feature file. Then we have three properties, the scenario context, which is not used uh, in, this, uh, in this example, but it is a part of the framework. We have the book service, reference and the reference to the found book. So as you can see we have three methods corresponding to the three keywords used in the test.
testing script given when then so using this attribute given and then uh, this string input we can bind the logic of the testing script to the C sharp code so given there is a book called asterisk which will be a place for the input from the testing script we invoke this C sharp logic so given there is a book called string book name so the Harry Potter which is an input in the testing script will be sent as a parameter into this method so then we can create this book using the constructor of the book class and add this book to our temporary collection um, inside of the book service so when when i search for a book called asterisk and as in the previous example it will be harry potter inside of this testing script this code is invoked so we are basically going to use the book service invoke the get book method and search for the book by the name retrieved from the parameter and then we are going to save this reference which we have found into the found book property and the last step is then definition the name of the book return should be asterisk so we are going to use the string parameter as well so then the name of the book return should be harry potter so the harry potter will be the parameter we are going to check if the found book if the name property of the found book is the harry potter from the parameter right so this is the basic structure of the spec flow test and we can run this using the test explorer i hope that uh, you understood the concept and that uh, maybe you are going to use the spec flow inside of your future projects because it has uh, much potential mainly because it uses english like language for testing which may might might be uh, more understandable for for your customers instead of your commercial work or, or simply because you, li you like to organize your tests in this way. I hope that you understood those concepts and I hope to see you soon.